Today we'll do one of the fastest skin smoothing method I personally like and I'll show you guys and it will probably take you like 5 minutes. I'm Richard and welcome to ZP Productions and today we're looking at this photo here, this is Reef and uh, today I'm going to smooth her skin out. Now, it's not that her skin is bad but you know, human skin is really not that perfect and you know you're doing some cosplay anime character, you want really nice, perfect smooth skin, this is the tutorial for you. Now this is not the first time I do skin smoothing tutorial, this is the second time or third time I believe and uh, today will be a method that I will say can be applied within like 5 minutes. So without further ado, let's go down to this method itself. Now you see this picture here, this is of course Reef and we are going to smooth her skin now. It's not that her skin is bad, it's just that you know we humans are not really perfect in nature. So a little bit of smoothing will make her a lot better. Now this is before and this is after. And if you zoom out, it's actually even more drastic if you ask me. Before, after, before and after. Now this is what you are going to do today and without further ado, let's move on to the editing itself. As you can see, this layer here is really something I edited and I'm going to throw it away. It's not no longer useful. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate two layers. Right, and I rename this C1 and T1. Now, why do I rename it C1 and T1? I will call this color and texture because now I'm going to do frequency separation itself. There is many ways to do it. You can do it your way. Uh, this is the way I prefer. And you know, if you go online, you can really find out more about frequency separation. If not, look at my past tutorials. I'll talk about more in-depth in this frequency separation item itself. Now, uh, today is really a fast one. So let's click on C1, hide T1 away, go to filter, apply blur. And we are going to now remove all the texture in the skin, at least the main textures. I, we are not going to remove things like the pimples and stuff, we'll leave it there. But all the skin textures you can see is all removed. Normally, if you are using a DSLR that is relatively sharp the lens wise, uh, and you are going to do full body, half body shot, you will probably want to uh, blur it about 3 points. And if you are going to do close up, you will probably blur it to 4 to 5 points. It really depends on the amount of megapixels and how sharp your photo is. For my photo, normally it's 3 to 4 points will get the job done. 4 points are probably for half body and lesser which means close up and then 3 points will be for half body and more of the body itself which is half body to full body itself. So 3 will be good enough, I press 3, I press OK. Now you can see the texture is already blurred out so I will now click on T1 and I will do image, apply image and I'll click on C1 and I'll subtract it away. What I'm going to do now is actually to extract all the texture. As you can see this very grey thing. You'll notice that there are texture all around and this is the texture of the skin itself that we have removed in the Gaussian blur earlier. So now what we're going to do is appear linear light and you can see that this photo itself is pretty much the same as the original. If I hide the whole group layer of this, you see that it's pretty much the same. So what I did just now was put them all in a group by clicking both of them and dragging into the folder icon. This will create a group themselves so we can easily manage it. So as you can see, it's exactly the same as the original photo. So now I'm going to apply the blur of the skin itself to really make it a very nice smooth skin. First, I want to clone C1 first. Uh, the reason I will explain you later. So I will do a C1 copy. Now I will take, uh, say, as a lasso tool. I will use this one, which is a lasso tool. And it looks like a circle, so I can select anything I want. I just select the face. Just ignore the eyebrows and stuff, you know. And if you want to add more area that is going to be lasso or blurred out, you can actually you know, select it this way. Just press the shift icon and just continue drawing on the screen. And you can see this lasso with a plus icon itself. Now similarly, if you want to remove stuff, you can press the alternate key and that will reduce away. So you remove things like the, you know, the lips itself, which you don't want to blur. And then you want to add the bottom of the chin, you want to blur. And at this edge, you want to blur. Add here, add here. Uh, you may not want to blur the top of the nose because that will remove everything in the color and that is pretty much it. Uh, you add here the blur too. Okay, so what I did was I selected all the area I want to smooth out in a really nice smooth layer itself. So now I'll go to the filter and I'll click blur and go, no, no longer Gaussian blur this round and this will be surface blur. Now, the reason why you use surface blur over Gaussian blur is Gaussian blur blurs everything. There's no much control in it. While surface blur allows you to control what is to blur and how much the difference before you start blurring the items out. Uh, so there is two controls here. I, there are smart blurs and other blurs that have even more control. But I think surface blur is just nice. Okay, so a bit of explanation. Radius is how much to blur. Very simple. Radius is how much to blur. While threshold will determine uh, what to blur and what is the difference between the different colors before it starts blurring itself. So for human skin, I found that about 50, 50 plus, 60, 
40 is about good. So for this photo, I would use about maybe like say 50 itself. And I notice the results are pretty okay. While radius normally is about 20 will do. Now you can look at this shot here. You can see that pretty much, you know, you kind of already blur out a lot of things. So you can just click and unclick preview and you really get very, very close to what you've seen at the start. Now you notice that there's still very a lot of unevenness in the skin and uh, as I said, this is supposed to be a very easy tutorial. So let's move on to how we actually remove the unevenness and that is to do the radius. As I said, how much to blur and just shift as much as you like. Now when you shift to about 60, 50, you'll notice that almost all the unevenness goes away and that's what exactly you want. So one, once all the unevenness go away, you stop because if you do anything more, you look very unnaturally flat. So if you use Gaussian Blur, it's really hard to control. But with Surface Blur, once you have done with the threshold, which is about 50 plus for human skin, the radius is what you need to control. And depending on how rough or how, I'll say how smooth or how rough you want, just play around with the radius and you'll get the result. So about 50 were good. It is good for this picture here. You remove all the unevenness in the skin, you press OK. And now you deselect it and you get a really nice smooth skin. Now if you activate and deactivate the layer, you will see the difference itself. Really, really nice and smooth. Now you notice that some part is really not very nice. So you can just select those parts and just use surface blur on them. Now you see surface blur, as I say, it does the differences. So in this case, it's maybe a little bit overkill. So let's say you really still want to blur the area and make it look natural. Go back to surface blur itself and maybe reduce the threshold itself. So just reduce the threshold a bit, reduce the threshold a bit. Uh, then you'll see that it comes back, the, the some of the details. Maybe reduce the ra radius a bit. And increase the threshold, reduce the radius. And you get something that you want and press OK. Now you get a very nice smooth blurring or even that area itself, which is a bit hard to blur normally. Okay, so I apply here. So I apply and we have a completed blurred result. Or should I say a completed nice edited skin result, right? Okay, now let's see again before, after, before, after. Now pretty much you can see that this blur is really, really quick. I think like maybe like how many? Uh, less than three, four minutes on this to get it done. And I think this is what you really want to do. Now there is other things you can fix after that. So this is of course beyond it really. Now what you can do is of course apply, let's say a curve. And then just darken it and then go back to layers in the mask. Invert the mask by using Control i and just, you know, redraw the shadows a bit. Maybe you just want a little bit more shadow so that it doesn't look so flat in nature. Just apply the shadow here and apply the shadow here. Usually for the nose reach, you need to apply a bit of shadow because it's too smooth already. And that's about it. And you get a nice shot of Reef cosplaying Arif itself. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial and if you want to see more such tutorials, do like and subscribe and hit the you know subscribe button below because I will post even more tutorials in the future itself. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you next time. Bye bye.